When I started out, I was a conductor. And I used to conduct for movies and television shows. And I would sit there and I would say, wow, it sounds great. The violins on the left, the cellos are there, everything is there, and had this perfect stereo image. Even if I had my eyes closed because I was right up in the mix. I would go into the control room and everything would sound weird because there would be like 50 microphones everywhere. But it was a movie and I was just a kid conductor and you know, I just had to keep my mouth closed and do my job. But I always said to myself, one day I would love to have a record company and I would like to have a record company from the conductor's perspective. So if I close my eyes, it's the best seat in the house because the conductor has the best seat. So many years ago when we started the label, I said, let's start it with a one point technique. And this is the concept of our label. It's real musicians in a real space captured as you were sitting there. And that is our thing. And you know what? If somebody wants to make a record with 500 tracks, it's okay because it's like an Italian and French restaurant. We're like an Italian restaurant. This is what we do. If, uh, if you want to go to make a rap record with overdubs and dubbing and all that, that's okay because they're using the studio to create art. That's part of the process. We're trying to capture an event of real people in a real space and bring it into your house. We still need to go to the next level. And the next level, we're trying to cancel crosstalk. If I go to that symphony concert and the guy whacks the bass drum over there, it's got to come and hit this ear. It's got to go around my nose and hit the other ear. Okay? So two things happen in this head transfer function. Obviously, it's longer to go here, so it takes more time. And the longer that it goes, the volume changes. Those two little things tells the brain where the spatial cues are. Drums there. There's a bear 300 yards behind me is going to eat me. There's a twig that drums. We have amazing spatial cues. And the worst place we have spatial cues are right here because we have eyes and we don't really need our ears there. So it's very hard when we do binaural recordings to get a really solid center because it's just not the way it works. So what happened is the brain is getting confused with all these signals saying, wait, where is that bass drum coming? And it locks it into the speakers and you can't get it past the speakers unless it's out of phase. So it locks it into that triangle. We can cancel this by, with these very sophisticated filters, we can cancel the crosstalk. So now the left ear is hearing the left speaker and the right ear is only hearing the right speaker. So all of a sudden that crosstalk has been canceled and all of a sudden the soundstage widens it's much deeper and then you have height. And all of this is on there, but you can't see it because going back to the McGurk effect, what we see is not necessarily what's reality.